This is L-Stop Media's first unboxing video. I'm Bradley Glandrock, founder, uh, DP, and EP of L-Stop Media based here in Chicago. Um, we got today the A7S Mark II. Uh, it released today, uh, at least in the United States, not sure what other countries. Um, already arrived when in a lot of places it was just supposed to ship today. Uh, we are filming this at 4K, 30p, uh, 60 megabits per second on the A7R Mark II. Uh, if you're curious, we're at 160th ISO 3200 F4 with the Zeiss 24 to 70 lens. Uh, we are recording internally. Um, do use the uh, uh, PIX E5 by Video Devices and Sound Devices uh, when doing uncompressed out. Really like that monitor and uh, external recorder, so check that out. So let's get right into it. The box of the A7S Mark II, not too shabby. Pretty typical uh, boxing here for the Sony. Everything is very similar to where you would find it uh, in, in other uh, Sony A7 line products. Who really cares about that? We want to get to the camera, don't we? So we're going to pull this open. You have your strap there. Okay, very nice. We have the uh, external battery charger, um, which was a nice addition uh, to these cameras. Um, the A7R Mark II came with one. Um, really happy that that's in there. And then this is also the new adapter uh, to put onto your uh, camera that Sony came out with with this uh, R Mark II uh, for your cords. Uh, actually haven't used this much yet, uh, but looking forward to giving it a try on an upcoming shoot. And let's see what we have battery-wise. Again, two batteries, so that's great. Um, people have complained about battery life with these cameras. Um, you know, honestly, look how small these cameras are. You'll see in a second if you haven't seen one of these before. Uh, yeah, the battery life isn't amazing, but it's a small camera. It's a small battery. Uh, I recommend the battery grip. Um, we've used some third-party battery grips, but uh, honestly, in the end, the Sony brand seems to be the best. Uh, if you're using some of those third-party battery grips, we've noticed it will decide to change the shutter speed, ISO, some other things on its own, and also give you issues with the uh, focusing, uh, especially when doing magnification. So again, uh, the two batteries, the uh, charger to put into the wall, there should be, yep, here is your cable. You can use this cable. Um, to connect to your computer, connect into that unit there to uh, plug it in the wall to charge. Um, I believe this camera, uh, same as the A7R Mark II, will run off of uh, power plugged into the wall so you don't have to rely on the battery if you're doing sit down interviews or whatever it may be. So there you go. There is, appears nothing else in that piece and now here we go, here's the camera. A7S, sorry, we're using the autofocus here, uh, continuous on the, on the camera. Really nice. 4K, steady shot inside. I gotta say, I really like what Sony's done uh, 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 with the updated Mark IIs in this series. It's really hefty, it's, it's a little heavier, which I actually really like. A nice metal body, um, an extra extended grip, which really is helpful. Um, I have average two smaller size hands, so for me, these work really great. Uh, I know some people actually complain about uh, having actually the slightly bigger body and grip in a DSLR, uh, but I would happily trade that uh, for a body like this. Um, again, I'd recommend the battery grip as well. That'll give you that extra grip that you would need for certain instances. Um, one thing I do miss on the other uh, older A7 models is 
the, the wheels for uh, things such as uh, shutter speed and aperture. These are great, they're small, but I liked the bigger uh, metal uh, 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 wheels on the other cameras. But you know what? It's not a problem. I do like how they are closer into the body here um, and we get to use that. Let's, let's see if one of these batteries have some juice in them and we will turn the camera on. Real quick note, actually, we are, uh, for the audio, I'm using the uh, uh, Rode Link, uh, Rode Mic. Uh, these, this is honestly one of my favorite wireless mics to come around in a while. Uh, it, it connects quite well quickly over its own Wi-Fi signal. I have yet to experience any uh, type of interference that you might get with, with using some other brands and, and, and dealing with frequencies. Uh, I will say uh, I do use a lav uh, that did not come with the kit. The mic that comes with the kit is decent, but I found that um, some other uh, higher end, or different, not necessarily higher end, but different brands, uh, kind of get a little better sound. So I'm actually using the Sennheiser mic um, that I use in a great wireless system that we do still use, um, but the Roadlink is what I take with me pretty much everywhere. So let's try one of these batteries out. And this will be the first time I turn it on, so you will see this for the first time. Little smudges here. Okay, let's get our focus here a second. All right, we're gonna go English. Set date and time. We're in Chicago. Uh, daylight savings off. I don't actually have the uh, time right in front of me, so we'll just skip ahead. Okay, so uh, we have about 12% battery life on here, so that's just fine. That'll get us through. We'll quickly go through some of the menus. Um, I'm going to just bring the ISO down here a second so you can see it a little better. Um, image size, 12 megapixels. Um, you know, there's a big talk about big a lot of megapixel count and, and, and how important that is. Um, I do love the 42 megapixels on the A7R Mark II, but, but the 12 is, is just great. If you're not blowing up these photos crazy large, and honestly, I recently did some 11 by 14s uh, with the A7S, the original, and was quite happy with that. So, you know, don't be scared by the lower megapixel count. Um, you can get a lot of great images out of it, and that is a big part of what makes this a low light king. Quality, always do raw and JPEG. Some clients like to uh, get photos immediately, love the Wi-Fi sync to uh, uh, the smartphone. It's really great to use, so uh, I like to have that on there. Maybe hopefully soon we'll be able to send RAWs uh, to our phones and be able to edit there, but until then, the JPEG works just fine. And this is a new thing. Ready? The raw file type. A lot of people have been asking for this. We have the 14-bit now uncompressed. Um, a lot of people will be happy with that, not having uh, some of the issues uh, that the compressed files gave. So a nice and, and welcome addition. Um, file formats, you have your 4K, HD, uh, XAVCS codec uh, in your 4K. Um, we'll go down here. You have 24p and 30p at 60 or 100 megabits. Uh, and then a really nice feature here with the XAVC and HD, 120 frames per second. A really nice addition. Um, I do love uh, some of the features on the uh, RX 100 Mark IV and RX 10 Mark II that you can get 240, 480, and I believe 960. Uh, that's really nice for small spurts when you're carrying it with you, but to have full HD at 120 frames per second in a camera body like this is, is just great. Um, so that's a nice option. Um, high frame rate settings. Uh, so this is how you choose where, what kind of a, a, a wrapper that you're uh, sequence will be uh, with your 120 frames. You can choose in a 30 or 24. You can see five times slow motion, four times slow motion. All right, let's go back here. Um, going through flash, focus settings. Uh, this is a nice feature too, ISO minimums. So you can 
decide what you want your shutter speed to be. Uh, you know, how you can set an, an, a, a minimum ISO uh, if, if you're in auto mode. You can do the same um, or in, in, in aperture mode, depending on, on what you want to go through here. Um, this allows you to say, I never want the shutter speed to be faster or, or in this case, slower than a certain mark. So that's a really nice added feature. We're going to go through here. A lot of these are still pretty common. Um, you have the standard, uh, creative, clear, all these different styles that you can go with. Uh, but here's what we want to look at, right? So now you have all these different picture profiles. And we have a couple more here at the bottom. So we now have S-Log3 on this camera, um, which should be really nice. I've seen some, some people work with it, and it seems to really have some nice dynamic range. Looking forward to using that. Just going through here in some of the settings, not too much is different here. All right, we're going through here just a bit. There's something I do want to show you all the copyright info. So this is really, really nice. Um, into the uh, f file structure and information, um, you can actually set now a copyright info, um, and you can set the photographer, copyright information, and what you want, and it'll show you what it'll display. I think that's a really, really nice feature. Um, and uh, I think a lot of people will be happy with it. So that's, that's pretty much a quick look at this. Sorry, got a little dimmer in here. I'm trying to use mostly natural light. Um, and uh, that's the A7S Mark II. We'll pop up the ISO here a little more. Um, check back. Hopefully, you know, you enjoyed looking at this. Uh, this is our first uh, open box opening video and your first look, as well as our first look at the A7S Mark II. Uh, keep uh, on our YouTube page for more information and examples of using this and other cameras uh, and as well, you know, some of the content that we're putting out right now. Uh, appreciate you taking the time to watch and uh, enjoy.